Hello, good morning, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank you for your attendee on today's call. Um, it will be our last part of our sessions called Holidays or Vacations with Energy Log Server. And today our goal is to present to you uh, SOAR technology. Um, but before we will start, uh, I will describe and, and tell you a little bit about previous session. Mm, previous sessions. So, so our series holidays with Energy Log Server, uh, it was like three sessions, three separate sessions. Uh, on the first one, we've covered log management and how log management is important in modern security. Mm, on the second, uh, on the second session, we covered. Uh, CM technology. So based on the based on the logs, um, uh, we've been able to um, to correlate all the data, uh, visualize visual, visualize it uh, on on a specific dashboard, correlate and integrate uh, our platform with different IOC uh, databases. On today's session, uh, we will uh, we would like to uh, tell you about a new product which is called Energy SOAR. Um, and to the, today's session will be divided into two parts. Uh, first of all, I would like to just uh, inform you about whole portfolio of Energy Log Server, and then I will pass presenter role uh, to Jakub Goral. Uh, who is pre-service engineer and uh, architect of energy, uh, energy solar. Uh, so we had three sessions, um, three sessions about uh, energy log server and energy uh, itself. Uh, so we've covered on the first one, log management. Uh, so, um, so the main product and the main platform uh, to improve security. So you will receive one point of um, data visual visualization and analysis for all the logs from your infrastructure. Uh, you can gather the logs from firewalls, from switches, routers, from all infrastructure. Also, you can gather information from the endpoint as well. Based on this log management, uh, you can build your SIM solution. So, uh, so we are analyzing all the information we've got from the from the logs. Uh, we are integrate. Uh, we are doing integration with uh, external databases. Also, uh, we've got third product, which is called a network probe. So with network probe, um, you can monitor and, and uh, analyze all the network traffic. Uh, you can do network analysis um, and you are monitoring uh, suspicious behaviors in the, in the network traffic. Uh, with these three products, you can correlate all the data from the network with the logs from the, uh, from the infrastructure. The last one, uh, the, the latest product of energy, Energy SAR, is additional layer uh, of, of security which can help you to improve um, and automate specific workflows. So first of all, we can integrate ourselves, self, um, we can integrate Energy SAR, uh, with uh, different uh, security systems. Um, also, we can visualize. Uh, we can do visualization of specific work, work workflows, which can improve um, improve the quickness of of solving security tickets and security incident. Of course, uh, we've got prepared and pre-built two other another functionalities, which is. Ex uh, incident management, and also we can um, do threat analytics. Right now, uh, as I've mentioned, I would like to give presenter role to, to Kuba. Kuba will tell you uh, and describe to you uh, Energy SAR. Uh, he will present uh, demo. Kuba, mic is yours. Thank you very much. I will talk about orchestration, automation, and response in IT security. So our components uh, are the following. 
mm, security orchestration and automation, security incident response, and threat intelligence. These three platforms were formerly separate technologies, and now they are combined in one SAR product. Incident response platform offers case and incident management workflow and incident knowledge-based gathering. Orchestration and automation provides various integrations and automatic workflow. Threat intelligence platform shares indicators of crop compromise. What are security operations problems? It starts with limited resources. There is a shortage of security professionals. Another problem is too many products. Each product has different UI. Without orchestration, you have to navigate multiple management interfaces to search data and take actions. Too many alerts. Security team are drowning in security alerts. They don't know which alert to analyze and many of them are left unread. Lack of processes. Some security teams lack established standard operating procedures or perhaps procedures exist, but they are written on a Word document. Speed. Responding to security incidents takes time. It's important to reduce mean time to detect and mean time to respond. And finally, cost. Cost of security operations is increasing. EnergySAR solves all of these problems. Automating repetitive tasks lets you focus on deeper analysis and threat hunting. Too many products. Through EnergySAR integrations, security tools can work together to respond to incidents. Alerts. There are too many. EnergySAR automates alert triage and clears majority of alerts. Lack of processes. EnergySAR has case templates, tasks management, and automatic workflow. Speed. Orchestration and automation from EnergySAR reduce time required for handling incidents. And finally, SAR saves your team time and costs. So, what are EnergySAR capabilities? It provides alert and case management, collaboration, automation and orchestration. Finally, dashboard consolidate all critical information needed to understand the current state of your security operations. Now let's talk about case management. Case is a tool to organize information from single alert or from multiple alerts. Tasks is a piece of work which can be assigned to an analyst. Playbook provides list of standard tasks that analysts can follow when evaluating cases. You can group tasks to define phases and checklist allows to track whenever all of the steps have been completed. In case you have two flags. ELP flag regards information sharing. If it is white, disclosure is not limited. If it is green, uh, there is limited disclosure and information is restricted to the community, community partner organizations. You can share the information, but not via publicly accessible channels. If the flag is amber, there is limited disclosure and information is restricted to participants' organizations. Uh, if the flag is red, uh, information is not for disclosure and it is restricted to participants only. The second flag, PAP, regards information using. If it is white, no restrictions. Green color, uh, active actions are allowed, for example, being the target, bro block incoming or outgoing traffic. Uh, PAP uh, in amber color, um, so the passive cross-checks are available. For example, you can check object in virus total. 
and red color means um, that you can take only non-detectable actions. For example, search logs in uh, log management platform. Now let's talk about orchestration. From Energy Solar console, you can take actions. Uh, for example, you can analyze file, uh, URL, hash, domain, or IP in virus total. You can geolocate, geolocate an IP. You can check file against Yara rules. Uh, you can send files or URLs to sandbox. Mm. Also, you can take uh, additional actions such as blocking, blocking emails, blocking IPs or domains. These integrations are uh, only examples. The uh, list of available integrations is much broader. Now let's go to the system console. What you can see here is alerts. Alerts sent from, uh, for example, uh, CM systems. And you can view the alert and see the details and observables, which are IPs, host names, uh, and um, other objects like uh, emails, domains. If there are similar cases which contains the same observables, it will be displayed here. You can import alert as empty case or choose playbook, which contains uh, predefined tasks for an analyst. Also, you can merge alert into case and search the cases by title or by number. If the case is displayed, you can merge the alert. So, if the alert is uh, important, it becomes a case. Now let's switch to cases view. As you can see, we can uh, view cases by status, open, resolved, uh, by tags. We can build um, some filters, for example, choose severity and add other, other uh, filters if necessary. If we open a case, we can see severity level, flags, TLP and PAP assignee, which is an analyst assigned to the case. You can add tag, task, tags and tags can be added from library. If you choose tags from the library, the, uh, they will be uh, normalized. You can create your own libraries as well. To the case, you can add um, tactics, techniques and procedures from Mitre framework. As you can see, we also have observables. These observables can be taken from alerts or uh, you can add your own observables. For example, IP, mail, or upload a file. And um, Energy SOAR will automatically uh, calculate hashes for these files. We can analyze these observables. Pick one or many and click Run Analyzers. You can choose single analyzer or many analyzers at once. Let's choose virus total. We have to wait a while to get the report. And here it is. You can see that uh, 14 of 90 uh, engines detected its uh, phishing site or unrated. We can see the details here. 
if we run multiple analyzers, this information is added to each observable. For example, here we can see that two URLs were added to the given IP address. And if we want to add this uh, detected URLs, we open the report and we can view observables and import this URL observable to the case. If observable is ILC, we can mark it as is ILC, and when we export the case to MISP server, only IOCs which uh, flag is IOC uh, are exported. So if there is an internal IP address, it won't be exported. Let's open a case uh, which uh, was created using playbook. So this case um, has many tasks and you can see uh, how many of them are completed or in progress. And in this example, we have eight tasks and four of them are waiting, two are completed and two in progress. Let's see the details. Here we can see um, assignee, which is uh, assigned to each task. And if analysts want to take uh, a task, he just clicks start, and this task will uh, be added to his list my tasks. If he wants to take some new task, he can also search uh, waiting tasks and uh, pick a task and click take. Now let's talk about creating cases uh, automatically. So in this example, uh, SOC team receives suspicious email from concerned employee as a file attachment, which is MSG file. And analyst tags the email with his category, which is username, in Active Directory and EnergySor. Then he, dro he drags and drops email to the folder SOR. So only email in, the, in this folder will create case. And schedule task monitors the folder <clears throat> and creates cases. In this example, email subject is case title and Outlook category is case assignee. Without opening the email, MSG file is converted to EML and added to observables. Also, uh, attachment from the original message is extracted and uh, sender, receiver, subject, and headers, all this information we, we get mm, to the case. SOC analysts have to handle many repetitive tasks. For example, enrichment, IOC validation, sending to sandbox, information gathering, picketing, notification and escalation, response, threat hunting. If we uh, automate these repetitive actions, analysts will have more time uh, for deeper analysis. So let's go to workflows. In this module, you can build your own workflow using blocks regarding integrations with external tools. For example, you can add integration with the Jira and connect the blocks. I will show 
some examples. Let's view Analyze Observables workflow. As you can see, in this case, we have severity level medium. Uh, we also added tag automation. And we have here some public IP addresses. And we want to check these addresses automatically. So we search, oh, we search cases which, has, uh, which have tag automation assigned. And then we get observables, uh, we filter public IPs uh, because we don't want to analyze our local network IPs. Then we uh, get the GeoIP report and we add uh, tags to observables. And these tags mean countries. If the country is China, severity level will be changed to high. So let's execute the workflow. Of course, we can schedule the workflow using uh, Chrome. Workflow got executed and we can uh, view the case again. So uh, as we can see, these tags were added Germany, China, and let's check severity. It was um, increased to level high. We can also create open case reminder workflow. So we search open cases, calculate SLA, and if uh, the case is open for um, longer than seven days, then the system will send email, SMS, uh, post message on Slack and flag case. We can add here some additional actions such as create Zoom meeting. Also, we can handle uh, vulnerability and we can scan new VMs. So if uh, the system uh, some network analyzer will detect new VMs, then uh, we can uh, enable some vulnerability scan and get results. If severity of vulnerability is critical, we change severity of the case and take some additional actions. Also, we can handle vulnerabilities. So at the beginning, we search open cases, which are critical vulnerability detected. In these cases, we have observables, which are host names or uh, IP addresses. And we also uh, read a file, which contains list of IP addresses and um, priority level of our asset, unit of the asset, owner or and uh, email of the responsible uh, team for the asset. And if we have vulnerability, which is uh, on host on the list, then we change severity if the uh, priority level of the asset is critical, for example, so we change severity of the case. Also, we can uh, automatically send emails to the asset owner. Now let's uh, go to dashboards. And in dashboards menu, you can uh, see cases resolved by, by status. Uh, so if you Mm, close a case, you can uh, choose the status. For example, true positive, false positive, and some other uh, if you can't 
uh, check if if it's true or if, if it's false. Mm, let's choose true positive and no impact in summary. Okay, these uh, statuses are uh, you can see here on the on the graph. Uh, you can also uh, see the cases by severity level, case owners, tasks owners, and alerts over time, uh, case status changes, so how many cases were opened, closed, and updated, um, SLA, and cases by organization. Uh, from the dashboards, you can uh, drill down into search and see um, which cases uh, and tasks uh, are assigned to a particular analyst or find some observables, or logs, alerts, and so on. Uh, in Energy Solar System, you can create many organizations to uh, share cases between them, and uh, each organization has a set of users. Users are assigned to roles, and each of role has defined permissions. You can integrate with Active Directory. Uh, at the end, I will show architecture of the system. So, uh, EnergySAR receives alerts from CM, for example, Energy Observers, Planck, Curator, Elasticsearch, Greylock. It can also read emails. Uh, it can get tickets from tracking systems. This information uh, can be sent to analyzers. Uh, sandbox, uh, you can uh, send notifications and run responders, for example, blocking actions. You can also integrate with MISP servers. Uh, for example, integration with Energy Log Server. Uh, in Energy Log Server um, Alerts Engine, you define which uh, observables uh should be created and uh, add some severity levels uh, tags flags statuses and so on thank you very much kuba thank you for your presentation it's perfect time to to ask uh, ask the questions uh in the chat box so on the left side you can you can see uh, attendee chat uh, you can drop the questions there for us kuba there is one question one question up here uh, how energy SOAR is licensed energy SOAR is licensed for concurrent users Concurrent users means that user who is uh, logged into energy SOAR as an operator. Am I right? Yes, true. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Let's wait another one or one minute for, for next questions. Okay, seems that's that's all. Um, I would like to thank you all attendees and for for time you've spent with us today. I wish you a pleasant pleasant day. And also, uh, you can contact us. Uh, you can contact us via uh, via email. Um, uh, via email and we will uh, provide you additional answers to your question we will help you with uh, tests or pocs for you and for your customers so uh, please do not hesitate to contact us thank you very much and have a lovely day